Now, you're going to know what is the secret of a good writer. That's what Farah Hali Hassan is going to tell you. Miss Dalia. People born with a talent, they are meant to use will find their greatest happiness in using it. In the fourth grade, while I was studying for my final exam, my eyes started to hurt me day after day. One day, I was taking a test. Suddenly, I wasn't able to read the words, and I couldn't see the numbers clearly. I didn't know if I should tell my mom or if my eyes are just tired from studying. But my mom noticed that I was struggling to read and holding my school book as close as I can on my eyes in order to read text. So she decided to take me to an ophthalmist. Honestly, I went there, and I was afraid that he would tell me to wear glasses. Unfortunately, it appeared that I have a condition excess. So I need to take some treatments and wearing glasses. I didn't like the fact that I have to wear glasses. Maybe they are not going to look good on me. Maybe my classmate will bully me and tell me that I have four eyes. Dr. Ahmed Al-Halimi, who supported me a little during this period, advised me to reduce the day of my phone and watching TV. <laughs> After a while of taking treatments, wearing glasses, and reducing the use of my phone, my mother decided to buy me some stories on Book Street. At first, I kept them on the desk for weeks because I've never loved reading. Not using my phone, not watching TV, made me go crazy, and I was really getting bored to death. Thus, I decided to give myself a chance to experience reading a novel. Maybe I enjoy it. Surprisingly, I loved it, and I kept reading story after story. I enjoyed the feeling of joy of being lost in a good book, even though I was wearing glasses. But doctor advised me to follow the 20 20 20 rule in order to prevent straining my eyes spent long periods of reading. The rule says that for every 20 minutes spent look at screen or a book, a person should look at something 20 feet away for 20 seconds. When the school year started, a great passion for writing stories grew inside me, which I discovered later that was enhanced by reading, a lot of reading. So I took a step forward and wrote my first story and named the character after my uncle because I miss him so much. In 2019, I participated for the story writing commission for the mystery of education for the first time. I can't describe to you how much I was scared of falling and nervous, as was my first experience. Thank God I went the fourth place for my school. my story, why we do to change the colors of a flag. I felt like I was on a cloud nine. I was so proud of my first achievement, which motivated me to read and write more. In 2020, we stopped going to school due to the widespread of the corona, which meant me having extra time to dive into books and having more adventures right along with the character. Spending time during COVID-19 pandemic was a meaningful experience. This really expanded my horizons. In 2022, I participated for the second time in this competition. And without a doubt, I win the third place for my two stories, The Butterfly and Balloons, and the second one, Fadwa and the Bird of Betri. Actually, all the stories that I wrote were about Palestine and the suffering of my people. So, it's no longer a hobby, but it became my way to, to in defending the Palestinian issue. When I grow up, I would like to become a well-known Palestinian writer, who publishes stories about her issue and inspire children to write their own stories. This experience has taught me how important reading is, especially at a young age. According to a study from the University of People in the U.S., it indicates that first, reading expands the mind. For starters, reading helps to expand our minds and give us more ideas. Reading has been proven to keep our minds young, healthy, and sharp with a study showing that reading can even help prevent Alzheimer's disease. Reading also develops the imagination and allows us to dream in things that, in ways that we have never been able to before. Second, reading allows for creative thinking. Reading can inspire you when you are feeling bored or dumb. Reading helps the get the creative side of your brain thinking, unlike television, which really does not use much brain power. Third, it helps improving concentration. Reading takes us out of the multitasking mindset that's continually in, 
it allows us to really focus on one second thing that we are doing and be fully present in it. Such as on the job. Those who are capable of focusing can get more work done and be more efficient, which can, which can mean working for overall hours or being seen as the more available worker. So, when you read every day, you gain valuable knowledge, improve your mental health, improve your memory, reduce stress, improve your focus, enjoy, and finally, live longer. <laughs> what I realized is that in the end, every year turns to unpleasant just by changing the way you see it. Wearing glasses wasn't the thing that I loved, but it appeared to be the light that led me to discover my passion for reading and writing stories and become who I am today. Believe me, reading is a really pleasurable and rewarding experience, and it can actually be life-changing. So, get a book, read it, and voila, you are a new world. Eventually, everything happens for a reason. What you may see is the curse. It may be a blessing in skies. I would like to end by thanking my parents and my teachers, Min Hamada and my school, who are my first supporters for reading and writing stories. And thank you all for listening.